Hello friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Yvette Simwa and today we are making a savory oatmeal. It's a breakfast recipe and to our ingredients we have um, here we have a cup of oatmeal. We're using rolled oats. Um, here we have a quarter cup of green peas. You can use French beans instead. Here we have a quarter cup of kidney beans which are cooked. We have a one fresh carrot. We have an avocado. Some pass um, coriander. You can use parsley. Here we have red onion. We have green bell pepper. Red tomatoes. A clove of garlic which we will grate or dice into small pieces. Here we have some paprika, cumin powder, oregano, and salt. So those are our ingredients. And we'll need a pot or a sufuria with a lid, a knife, and a wooden spoon, of course, and a chopped pin board where we'll chop our vegetables. So we'll begin by washing our vegetables the carrots, bell pepper, onion, tomatoes, and even the coriander and the garlic. Wash them and chop them very well into small pieces as you can see here. Very colorful. You can also add some French beans. So we'll begin by sauteing our onions and garlic in a tablespoon of hot water in a tablespoon of olive oil saute them until they turn translucent this takes roughly two minutes once this is done we'll start by adding our ingredients so we'll begin by adding our tomatoes our carrots and our coriander i added them all at once stir um, once this is done, we'll begin by adding our seasonings, that is the cumin and the paprika. So there is the cumin and next we have the paprika. Stir this so that the seasonings can mix well with the vegetables. I love the color. I, If you can access a red and a yellow bell pepper this can really be enhanced so add your red kidney beans which are boiled and the peas green beans or the peas which are raw you can even use boil it's still okay they'll still cook and at this point just stirring and adding the oats immediately um, I'll stir this for like a minute to allow the oats to dry cook like roast and once you've done that you add your last ingredients which are the salt and the green bell pepper and the oregano so we are adding two cups of cold water you can even use hot water it will just fasten the cooking stir this very well the water will help the oats to cook so the secret here is that if you're using one cup of oats use two cups of water and cover this for seven minutes five to seven minutes and here is what we have at this point it may look creamy but when you remove from the fire and allow it to sit a little the oats will soak all the water and it may become a bit hard which is just the right consistency that you're looking for and here we have served it in our bowl this is our breakfast for today i've garnished it with some avocado and carrots and coriander so whenever you eat this eat this to the glory of god remember to be a channel of light wherever you are the lord depends on you if you like this recipe please give it a thumbs up i'm also willing to hear your recommendations on some recipes you desire me to try bye